and Campbell Ewald executives call this a historic and defining moment for their company because after 35 years in the city of Warren, they will now occupy the top five floors here on the south side of Ford Field. It's a move back to the city of Detroit, the city where the company began. I think it's a very, very vibrant time in the city, and it's part of our DNA, and I'm glad that it's being reawakened here in the city. Campbell Ewald Chairman and CEO Bill Ludwig talking about exciting news for the company and for the city of Detroit. The advertising powerhouse is moving its global headquarters and 600 employees from the city of Warren to downtown Detroit, right into this old JL Hudson warehouse at Ford Field. I know I probably speak for... Uh, Mayor Fouts uh, out in Warren, his loss is our gain. But I think when we start thinking about um, this whole metropolitan area, um, it's going to take bold visions like uh, Bill has done to bring Detroit back and to bring this area back. Ludwig admitting the news may have taken the mayor for the city of Warren off guard. We have had conversations with Mayor Fouts. We did talk to him about the uh, uh, looking at alternatives in, in another uh, city, so he knew about that. Uh, I think when he says he was you know, blindsided or taken um, uh, off guard, it was because of the announcement occurred without an orderly, uh, um, an, an orderly announcement. So why did Campbell Ewald pick downtown Detroit? And what about any tax incentives to get them here? Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll take a look at that and how this move will affect the paychecks of Campbell Ewald employees. Joanne and Jeff, back to you. We'll have that coming up at 6. Back to you. Okay, Kim, thank you very much. And to use your words and the mayor's words, well, Detroit's gain is, de is Warren's or Detroit's uh, losses. I'm sorry, Detroit's gain is Warren's loss. I talked to Mayor James Fouts about the impact of the Campbell Ewald move on his suburb. Now, Fouts tells me he was blindsided by the news, but today got a bit of good news from the ad agency. Warren was home to Campbell Ewald's 600 employees since 1978. Fouts tells me a recent renovation of the offices may pave the way for a blue chip company to come in and take over. That space that was vacated by Campbell Ewald. And the mayor may have an announcement on that at his state of the city in two weeks. Uh, Fouts mounted an aggressive campaign to keep the company, but says they lost out to a company of creative people in need of some culture better suited for an ad agency. We gave them a $3 million tax credit. We reevaluated their building and declared some of it to be obsolete so they could get some tax inducements and we would have done anything we can to keep them there but it wasn't in the cards. As for the financial loss to Warren, Fouts tells me he is still tallying up the loss in tax revenue but says it's not devastating to the city, citing a loss of GM or Chrysler based there as possible death sentences for the suburb. Coming up at 7, Action News at 6 o'clock, why the mayor of Warren says the Detroit EFM could stand in the way of a Campbell Ewald move to downtown Detroit.